Hello and welcome back for another AGIX price prediction update and in this video I'll be diving deep into the technical analysis here on the AGIX chart and before I do so show some love by first giving this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership and at the time of this recording AGIX is holding above the 20 day MA here on the 4 hour chart which is now acting as support for us to continue gearing up we have also continued to see higher prices and I'm now watching for a break above a very significant high for this first wave to the upside at around the 0.325 dollar mark because a break above that will help us continue seeing higher prices to our next key area of resistance at around the 0.35 dollar mark and also confirm the impulsive move that we are seeing here on the AGIX chart. We have also continued to obey the ADHF structures where you can see that after seeing our lows on the 12th of May at around the 0.226 dollar mark we saw that massive pump at, uh, to the area at around the 0.325 dollar mark in what have been terming as that first wave to the upside. Then we started a corrective structure in the formation of these larger ADO to count two and using the Fibonacci's connecting them from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave one I was able to come up with a minimum retracement area for that wave two between the Fib level 0.5 and the Fib level 0.78 which lies between the 0.27 dollar mark and the 0.247 dollar mark where you can see that we are seeing a massive reaction to that target area in what could be the start of an impulsive wave in the formation of this wave 3 and a break above the wave 1 high that would be enough confirmation of the impulsiveness in the formation of this wave 3 and giving you minimum target areas for that wave 3 by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 then dragging the Fibs to the low of the second wave that gives me a minimum target area at the FIB level 1.618 and that is at around the 0.4138 dollar mark and that is the minimum that you can expect AGIX to do in the formation of that wave 3 so a break above the wave 1 high will confirm the impulsive move in the formation of that wave 3 and help us continue with the massive run up to our next key area of resistance at around the 0.35 dollar mark and that is what I'm expecting on the on the short term point of view here on the AGX chart and to give you my long term outlook you can see that after seeing our November lows we saw a 5 wave structure in formation completing the formation of that larger ADO to count 1 then we started a corrective structure in the formation of this larger ADO to count 2 in a move that managed to get into the minimum retracement area highlighted on the charts using this blue target area in a corrective structure where we saw an ABC corrective structure give us a low at around the 0.22 dollar mark and there are high chances that whatever we are seeing is the start of an impulsive wave in the formation of these larger ADO to have count 3 and once we see a complete 5 wave structure that I have shown you here on the short term point of view which is a micro ADO 12 count within the formation of that larger ADO 12 count 3 that would be the confirmation that the low for this second wave is in and the high chances of continuing with the run up in the formation of that larger ADO 12 count 3 so that is what I'm expecting here on the short term point of view and the long term point of view and also taking a look at the indicators on the RSI we are trading at around the 68 mark also taking a look at the MACD we have been able to print a bullish cross both fully supporting higher prices so let's be patient and see how that plays out and I'll be keeping you updated.